let us discuss silence, shall we? Now, if I continue to sit here and say absolutely nothing to you while smiling at you and looking at you, <laughs> it might elicit a variety, a plethora, shall we say, of mental reactions, psychological and emotional reactions, not to mention thought processes and thoughts. So, what do we mean by that? Well, Let's take an inventory, shall we? Imagine you're sitting with someone and they are just looking at you and you don't know why they're looking at you. And they're not telling you why they're looking at you. They're just looking at you and they're maintaining silence. Think about how you might react internally. You might become uncomfortable. Um, you might feel self-conscious. You might think to yourself, what is wrong with this person? <laughs> what is wrong with her that she's just staring at me or looking at me and she's not saying anything? You might also think, what is wrong with me that she keeps looking at me and not saying anything? So you get the picture, right? You might respond in a variety of ways simply to the fact that the person sitting with you is maintaining silence. So today's vocal quick tip has to do with the uses of silence, hopefully effective uses of silence, when we're using our voices. Just as maintaining silence with someone can elicit feelings of discomfort, uncomfortableness, um, uh, psychological and otherwise, the same can be said for the use of silence when you are in front of an audience. Sometimes people, when, when they are performing, um, let's say a, a piece of poetry or they're singing a phrase, they might and for that matter, actually, even instrumentally playing a passage, <clears throat> in which case the voice, the voice is not being used, but still they're employing the use of silence to create space around a, f a musical phrase. Silence can be used to create that space, as I put it, the space around a musical or spoken phrase, to give your audience an opportunity to really digest and think about what is being said. That's one use for silence. Um, I'm sure you're aware of this and have experienced this yourself. I think we all have. If someone is doing a lot of talking or you're hearing several people talking at once, for example, as an example, you know how you can tune that out and not really pay that much attention. However, silence can help tune you back in, so to speak. A master of this technique was Alfred, Hitch Alfred Hitchcock. If you think about some of his movies, let's, let's go with the famous uh, movie Psycho, right? The original version, um, when you go back into the archives of entertainment journalists back in those days, they wrote about how he used silence at that time it was considered in a very innovative way it's still innovative actually where instead of having suspenseful music in the background he just suspended all sound and he did it as a way to create a feeling uh, within the audience of tension so silence can be used to create tension it can be used to create anxiety it can be used to help the audience digest the information that you just presented to them. You can say, um, let me see, for example, uh, if you say something to the person and then you follow that phrase with silence, the ear, uh, you're psychologically, you're expecting them to say the next phrase, right, to continue speaking. 
But the fact that they did not, at least not right away, not immediately, the fact that they follow the spoken or, or sung phrase or instrumentally played phrase with silence, it, it kind of makes you notice more and then lean in, kind of tune in more to hear what's coming next. Because the silence serves as an, uh, something that's unexpected. So, silence can be used in a lot of very creative ways. Um, I'm not the first person, of course, to talk about this. I mentioned Alfred Hitchcock. Also, um, oh goodness, I just forgot her name. Um, ah, famous, famous jazz, jazz vocalist, Wilson. Long, beautiful locks. I'm forgetting her first name, for heaven's sakes. Anyway, I'll post it. <laughs> but um, she, she talked about her uh, growth in her career and she's considered you know an absolute legend of, of jazz singing but she talked about how she's learned to use silence more and more as she's matured in her art form so play around with the uses of silence in your spoken word in your poetry in your singing and even in your um your playing i was gonna try to give you maybe an example of that would be um uh let's do nature boy there was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy. Now that's a phrase, right? You can change the impact of that phrase by simply adding silence in places where you may not have added silence before. Like, there was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy. You see how you create space around uh, and between phrases by elongating and extending the silence. So yes, silence is um, a very powerful tool that can be used in many different ways. So I invite you to play around with silence um, and find ways of adding in those breaks and spaces that you may not have considered uh, before. So. Um, again, it can add power to your voice, it can add power to your message, it can affect your audience. A lot of times when we're uh, thinking of entertaining, I guess you could say, uh, using your, your artistry as entertainment, we think, well, you know what, I don't, wanna, uh, I don't want to make my audience feel anxious or tense or uncomfortable. But as I said with Alfred Hitchcock or certain messages, depends on the the power of the message and the way you want to deliver it, you might want your to create some tension purposely. So, so that's another thing I want to say to you is don't be afraid to explore the use of silence, of course, but also um, in your artistry, creating some tension and even psychological anxiety a little bit uh, at times in certain um, aspects of the work that you do. <coughs> Excuse me, of the work that you do. And um, you might find that it opens some interesting doors for you artistically. So I hope this was helpful for you. And give me a thumbs up if you found it informative. Feel free to comment below, both on the content of this video as well as to comment and ask further questions if you like. Um, and if you have some other ideas and things that you'd like me to address in the next vocal quick tip. In the meantime, God bless. Please do subscribe and I'll be coming back with you again with more video content soon. Take care. Bye-bye.